I have for myself and yourselves. Wouldn't we like to be friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Imagine if Allah says that man is my friend. Allahu Akbar. Imagine. Wouldn't you like to be a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Well, the answer is yes, indeed. We all want to be friends of Allah. So how to become a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioned in the Quran, Surah Yunus. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says verses, and I'm sure a lot of us would know these verses by heart. Allah says, behold, indeed, the friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no need for them to fear nor grieve, not at all. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this is verse number 62 of Surah Yunus and the two verses after that. They are the ones who believe and they have taqwa. That's all you need, two qualities. To become a friend of Allah, you need to be a believer and you need to have taqwa. In order to be, to be a believer, you need to have two main qualities. You need to worship Allah alone without associating partners with him. And you need to follow the traditions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If we have these two qualities, we are believers. On top of that, we need to have taqwa. Taqwa meaning be conscious of Allah. Create a barrier between you and the fire of Allah by engaging in commands and abstaining from prohibitions. That is called taqwa, piety. If you are a pious believer, you are a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah says such people for them, there is good news, glad tidings in this world as well as the next. In the narration, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Man aada li waliyan faqad aadhantuhu bil harb. Whoever has harmed a friend of mine, I have announced war against him. This is what Allah says. And this is why we say never ever harm people. You may never know who is the friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala befriend us and may he make us from those who are truly his friends.